And it is, oh, it is another day in which I am not right about to drop dead despite being prone to infections. And uh, I did not sleep well yet again. This time, instead of waking up with gastritis, I was waking up with neck pain and just putting a towel behind my neck trying to sleep has not been working out the best. It, I really wish I could like have that neck pillow back that the movers took and kind of hid away in storage before I could pack it into my car. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but it sucks only getting a couple hours of sleep a night and then having to like drive all day. It really is sucking. So I'm going to have to do something. And um, just got some interesting news this morning. The bridge between Arkansas and Tennessee is out, and that's what I was going to use while I was driving across the country, and I already booked hotel rooms in that area, and I don't think I can just cancel it or reschedule or whatever. Like, I think I'm kind of screwed. I, th I mean, I'm going to have, like, a really long day, I think, the day I leave Hot Springs, because I'm going to have to, like, go through Lula... Mississippi or something and then go up again to Tennessee to get to the hotel without that bridge. It just seems like every possible thing that could be messing things up has happened. So like today the bridge was out. That was in the news. Yesterday, because of this pipeline hacking and gas shortage, um, the price of gas was like 20 cents higher than it was the day before, which is not totally catastrophic but not really what you would want when you're driving across the country and then like the movers were fucking up and like i was wondering if it was my intuition that was like one more month or if it was fear and i'm just like that one more month shit is why i've been here a year and a half because one more month one more month three more months like i'm just gonna leave and then it's like because i didn't wait one more month there's a bridge that's out and the price of gas went up and just all this BS. So I'm realizing now, like, maybe it wasn't fear. Like, maybe that actually was my intuition. That was like one more month. <sighs> Anyways, I'm in Tyler, Texas. I'm trying to clean up my hotel room and check out so I can go to the Rose Garden, get some barbecue, and then go to Hot Springs. See you at the Rose Garden. I'm in the museum. They're cleaning it right now. It smells like roses inside of the Rose Museum. That's cute. Maybe I could get a Mother's Day present. Well, belated. Like a big time belated Mother's Day present at the gift shop, maybe. According to the CDC guidelines, you don't need to wear masks inside if it's not crowded, so got out of the gift shop, got some belated Mother's Day presents. There's the roses. Let's get up close to the roses. All right, back in my car after spending not a ton of time at the Rose Museum. Well, technically not the museum, the garden. Garden is free, museum costs extra. Of course, I got there on the day that they're doing all the landscaping with the really loud lawnmowers and stuff. So it wasn't the best day to film. It was a better day for still photography. Nonetheless, amazing pictures. Got some little things at the gift shop for my mom's belated Mother's Day present and 
it's like 11 20 so I think I can have like a normal time lunch at Stanley's barbecue and see what East Texas barbecue is about compared to Central Texas barbecue I think it has to do with the pork I might get a half slab of pork ribs back in my car with some East Texas barbecue super looking forward to this there's um it's 11 30 so this is the time for people to be getting lunch and there's people who are definitely choosing this place for lunch very encouraging so three meat sampler with ribs sausage and brisket side dishes there's some sauce. It's a whole lot of sauce. Coleslaw. Beans. And how courteous of them. Three of these wipes, because my hands are going to be filthy. Given that my last barbecue experience was a complete flop, I am super looking forward to this. They lied about giving me meat. They just gave me bread. Ah, you don't want that. Oh, the presentation of this. Oh yeah. And I have to say, Compared to some of the places in Austin, not that I'm just talking shit about Austin, they seemed very courteous and professional. Oh man, the briskets. I got better brisket karma this time. Look at, it's like falling apart on my fork. I can't even lift it to show you. Look at that. That's tenderness. So much better than that last overhyped Austin Mickle Lay. Austin is a whole lot of hype, man. So as far as East Texas goes, the sauce is like way sweet. So the tenderness is very much on point. No smoke flavor though. It's got a smoke ring, but it doesn't taste like smoke. It's not very flavorful meat. Sausage time. Couldn't break it off. Ugh. I wanted to spit that out. Sausage has way too much fat. It doesn't taste like meat, it just tastes like fat. It's nasty. I'm not gonna eat it. It's gonna make me sick. Baby back ribs. The only other place in Texas I've had ribs was Style Switch. I don't even know what they were. Baby back or spare, I don't even remember. Still gotta try the side dishes. Don't wanna spill this all over myself. Let's try the beans. They taste like black pepper.
they look a little industrial. Like, the broth is extremely thickened. Normally, like, ranch beans, cowboy beans, whatever you want to call it, normally the broth is more thin. Not bad. Doesn't beat Franklin's. Not for the coleslaw. Got a little kick to it. Ew. I was wondering what this dark green stuff was. Fucking cilantro. It has a very, very fresh texture. But the cilantro in it is nasty. I'm sorry, not everyone likes cilantro. So, as a summary, the brisket is definitely tender. It's better than good family barbecue or good company barbecue or whatever in Houston. It was way better than Micklewaith, which botched it. Not as good as Stacks. Well, not sure how it stacks up to Style Switch. It's been a while, I don't remember. But definitely not as good as Franklin or La Barbecue. Pork ribs, all I can compare it to is style switch. They use sugar in the rub. gives it a different texture. There's people right next to me right now. They're trying not to like open the door into my car. Okay, they're in their truck now. So, Style Switch doesn't use sugar in there, Rob. It doesn't have that chewy bark. This has like a chewiness to the bark because of sugar. I don't know how I feel about that. It looks nicer. I will say that. The color of it. You know what? I'm going to be generous and say, you know what? This is the best rib I've had in Texas. Best pork. The sausage here is nasty as hell, and I'm not going to eat it. Too much fat. Likely make me sick. Not going to eat it. It literally just tastes like grease and black pepper. Not going to eat it. No. Like, it honestly, 
it's like borderline dog food. Like it's nasty sausage. So this place actually gets the honor of having the best ribs and the worst sausage and decent solid brisket. Okay beans, not amazing, not horrible. And then controversial coleslaw for putting cilantro in it. Very fresh texture. Okay, totally disjointed outro because it's a month later and I'm finally now editing the video. So I finished up the barbecue and started driving over to Arkansas. I ended up with driving over two nails and having to stop and get my tires repaired. So that's where the video, the next episode will resume. So totally awkward conclusion, um, especially since it's a month later and like my skin is doing worse, my hair is doing worse. I feel like I've kind of just gotten run down in the past month. So it's actually kind of weird to be editing that from a month ago and being like, wow, it's been a hard month. <laughs> so be good to your mucous membranes. Peace out. Bye.